Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my standout makeup products for 2018. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. As promised, I said I was gonna have several videos up with standout items. My first one was hair care and skin care for 2018. This one is makeup products and then the third one will actually be palettes because let me just say palettes I went nuts I would say probably more the eyeshadow palettes but I did get some face ones too but eyeshadow palettes I went nuts on eyeshadow palettes so that will be in the third one that's why I wanted to separate it because just there's too many I went through so standouts I don't know if I got to say this in my last video so I thought I'd say it in this video Standouts for me, why I picked that wording in it basically is I want it to be products that did stand out to me in 2018, whether they're new products or new products to me, items that I kind of like was impressed with, really liked or fell in love with. I didn't want to repeat myself every year. I wanted to share different items basically, if possible. I know sometimes it might happen where there could be a repeat, but I just basically wanted to share products that I had used and tried out for the whole year and give you like the ones that really just stood out to me the most. Let's get into this. The first um, product I will share is a primer. Now, I really didn't have any eyeshadow primers that has stood out to me. I do have a face primer and it's the Master Prime uh, Face Studio Primer from Maybelline. It's the Primer Base Blur and Pore Minimize and I really like Maybelline products just in general in the drugstore. It's probably one of my favorites in the drugstore um, brands is probably Maybelline. And again, just like their concealers for me, their primers have done me no wrong. And it reminds me and looks a lot like the Smashbox. So I wanted to see, I was curious. I would probably just get this one and skip the Smashbox one. I like the Smashbox, it is it is really nice, but with both, you can really feel the silicone. With both, I feel like I've seen the same pore minimizing or, you know, it just, it blurs out the pores. And it, this is like around seven or eight bucks in my Walmart. So it's probably going to depend in your Walmart or your Walmart stores or wherever you pick it up, but still cheaper than Smashbox. So yeah, I was really impressed with this product. I think I'm going to hop into the foundations. Now, I have not tried too many of the cushion foundations. So I wanted to try one and I've heard a lot of people talk about the Mega Cushion Foundation SPF 15 from Wet n Wild. This one here. I have actually used the sponge and I've used the brush. Um, I think I like the sponge just a little bit more better than the brush because it does apply so much more better for this type of a cushion, the cushion foundation. But this really looked natural. I'd say it's like medium medium to full so it's it, I, I i would say you could build it up if you wanted to but it just it really impressed me i was really liking this yes definitely would recommend maybelline let's step back into maybelline <laughs> this foundation here i had seen i believe it was uh trish oliver hi trish the maybelline dream satin liquid foundation hydration serum now i know there's another uh, dream like the whipped or something I forget but what caught me was the serum part the hydrating serum that's what I have on my face right now this is what I'm wearing today I really like this foundation it does have a pump as you see and you just turn the pump and you can squirt it out and then when you close it back up you just turn it again Maybelline with foundation so far almost every foundation I've tried from them except one I've been really impressed with. So if you are on the hunt for a nice hydrating foundation, yes, I would definitely say go ahead and check this one out. On a little higher end, I know Ulta had like a lot of their sales 
right before the Christmas time, they have their like what 21 day sale and all those different. Well, they've just they've had sales left and right. Let's just be honest. I mean, between them and Sephora, it was like competition between the two, and I, I could have went nuts after a while. This was on sale in the 21 days, and I believe it was like $19, and I wanted to try it. And it's from Laura Geller, the Quench and Tint Hydrating Foundation. And let me just say, now this gives, oh, which the Maybelline one, it gives a medium to full kind of uh, coverage. This here gives a light to medium, so, but it looks real natural. It does give a nice, decent coverage. It just, it looks like one with your skin. It, it's, it's really nice. I've really been enjoying this. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't... I don't see it on I don't see it on here, but I do believe it's supposed to have something of like hyaluronic acid in it or something of that form. I can't quite remember. I know there's a skincare benefit in this, so I really like it. And it was like $19, so I couldn't pass it up. I've been wanting to try it for so long, so I quickly grabbed that. Okay, this is kind of basically a, well, it's a BB cream, so it's not a foundation. Rimmel London BB Cream SPF of 15. It's a 9-in-1 BB cream. On here it has it hydrates, it primes, it protects, helps minimizes the appearance of pores, smooths, conceals, covers for uneven skin tone, it mattifies, it brightens, and provides all day long comfort on skin. I pretty much have to say yes to all of that. I'm not sure about the mattifying because I don't really see that. I wouldn't say it's like really shiny, dewy, or illuminating, but I don't know about the mattifying. I just, I put on like a powder foundation just for that extra coverage if I want it. I'm going to share a couple of concealers I have here. One being the um, LA Colors Conceal It. This one is in peach. I got my shade in peach on this one. And it's the LA Colors Conceal It. And it does have the brush, one of those brush applicators. I don't really use them. I just let it come out and take my little fingertip and then go ahead and apply. This is really good if you have darkness. Like in here, a lot of times I put like a peach colored corrector here because it does help a lot of times to cover up any darkness that you might have or even through here if you have any like maybe you had a bad day of sleep even, you know, or any of that kind of stuff. So I really, really have been impressed with this. Next one is the Maybelline Master Cameo uh, Color Correcting Pens. They have quite a few of them. They have a green one. I think they might have an orange one or peach one. I'm not sure. I got the pink because I heard Trish Oliver and Kathy Beauty Care Chats. They were two that kept raving over it, how great they liked it and how it brightened up all in around their eye area. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. It has like a sponge applicator like tip right there. Again, I just squirt it out, get it on my fingertip and then apply it. This will be a repurchase as long as I keep making it. I'm hoping it's not gonna be one of them things where Maybelline has, you know, like one of them products where it's there and then it goes away. Okay, eyeliner. I do tight line. Uh, up above, up in my upper inner part of my uh, eye. I like to tight line. And a lot of people do that because it kind of gives a nice look to your eyes, makes your, um, makes it look like you have like thicker lashes or more lashes or something like that anyway. So sometimes when I've done it though, it can be a little tricky, a little difficult. There's been times where I've almost poked in my eye and you know, it just, it's been a little tricky. Well, I came across this one here, this here from uh, Maybelline, and it's the Master Precise Skinny uh, Pencil, little skinny, one of the little skinny eyeliner pencils. This thing here is so perfect, it's so tiny and precise, you can get right up in there and just, it is perfect. I have not had no problem since using this. I have had such an easier time to tight line than I did with any of my other ones. This one's Defining Black, and then I think the other one's brown, a brown color, but I like the Defining Black. Okay, brown products. I have been liking how my brows have been looking lately, and a lot of it has to go to 
uh, the It Brow Power, and I actually got mine in one of my boxy charms. So that's the It Brow Brow Power. It does have a little bit of a slant to it, and depending on how much pressure you want to use, the darker it will get, the more pressure you apply. So like you're in complete control, and it's the one that I noticed that looks so natural. It doesn't look like you got a lot of brow product on it, it just it does look more natural on the other side you have a nice little spoolie you can work with and I, I honestly would pick up another one of these for sure because so far out of all eyebrow pencils i've used this one here is the one that i think would i would say has been the best for me of all the brow products I've ever used. The other one can be a little more tricky, but crazy enough, I like it. It is actually the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. Brow gel. Comes in this tube here. And this one here, actually they say, if you don't wash your brows off, like if you don't wash them off or anything like that, they can stay for, is it, I think it's just until you wash it off, basically. It does come in several different colors. With this here, it does give you one of the spoolies, like just a little mini spool, spoolie, but I have some extras anyway, so if it didn't, it wouldn't have mattered. But, and it's a little brush here. Now, I do scrape on the sides a little bit. You have to be very easy, I'm not gonna lie. You have to be kind of easy and just lightly stroke along. If you're somebody that doesn't have too many hairs. I don't know. I don't think this would be for you. I think this is more for somebody that does have uh, some decent amount of hairs, but you fill in those gaps and stuff and like just add to a little bit more. I feel like that's what this would be more for. So bronzers. Uh, this one here is actually from CoverGirl. It's the Chocoholic Bronzer. And when I first saw it, I thought, okay, uh, that looks interesting. Um, it does smell like chocolate, but the coloring on it, I thought at first, like, ooh, no, that is so not gonna work. So you can see it's like really strong, but you can blend it out and it will just buff in really nice. It will give you a nice bronzed look. Okay, and then blushes. So I have quite a few blushes. This has also been the year for me for blushes, let me just say. The first one is actually from the um, Physician's Formula. They're butter blushes. You know, they have the butter bronzers and then the butter blushes. This one here is in the color Rosy Pink. I wanted to get more pink colored shades because I lack that so badly. I end up always getting peach colors. And so I wanted to get a more rosy color pink shade. So that's it right there. It is so pretty. There it is there on the end, right here. I don't know, I just, I love it. It's so natural pink color. It just looks really pretty on the cheeks. Now this one is more of a higher end and I've never tried anything from Kevin Aquan and I ended up getting one of his blushes. It's the ombre ones. This, they call it the Neo blush. Yeah, the Neo blushes. This one's in pink sand, a soft, dusty pink. Can I just say, I think this has ended up being one of my favorite blushes right now, for sure. I fell in love with this. I just blend them all together um, on my cheeks and you just get the most beautiful pink color. If you're all about the pink, you will love this one here. And yeah, I just, I really fell in love with this one. Wet n Wild. For me, Wet n Wild really can do amazing blushes and highlighters. These two can be considered a highlight and blush all in one. Uh, I got them from their, what was this one? It was with the humming, Hummingbird collection. There was like hummingbirds. I love anything with hummingbirds anyway. So these two here. I the Hummingbird Hype is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, and this is, I really like the Hummingbird Hype. As you can see, it does have a, like a sheen to it, so you could have it as, you know, like a, your highlight, but that's it there. It's like a rose gold, I guess. I don't even know how to explain it. It goes beautiful on the cheeks. Like I 
put the bronzer on and then this and you can see right there the sheen but that's actually what I have on it's just it looks really nice and then the other one is gorgeous if you are all about the golden peach uh, shimmery color this one's don't flutter yourself but this one here oh my goodness this I cannot wait to use more in the summertime I felt um, look at that oh my crap I mean, like, it is just so pretty right there. Oh, gorgeous. The next blush is CoverGirl again. And this was in, they had their Chocolate Lovers, uh, Chocoholic or whatever they're calling it. This one's um, CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. Oh my goodness, can I just tell you this Peach Punch Blush, if they still have it. I don't know if they have this collection still or not, but if they do... I would say, and you love peach blushes, this is one definitely you would want to get your hands on. Right here it is. I might put it in a bad area. Okay, the next blush, I was trying to think if I had this in my last years or not. I can't remember. And it's the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. Uh, this one is in, doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure they were all rose shades, like rose colors or, or something like that. One was like light rose, then it was medium rose, and then there was a darker rose. I ended up getting the medium rose color, the uh, baked marbled color. It's so disappointing to know I have not been able to find them anywhere, but it just, it's a nice, basic, natural color it gives to your I mean, look how pretty that is. And I really wish they would come back with these or I'll see if I can find them because I want the darker one. And lastly, for the blushes, I actually won these from Doll 10. And these are her uh, cheek stamps, is what they're called, cheek stamps. And I like Doll 10 a lot. I do like a lot of her products I've tried so far, like her lipsticks. Um, her highlighters and things. I've tried them in the past before. Uh, there's no exception. I just, I love some of her lipsticks. But these are so different. And I was like, ooh, you know, because you can put these, like, if you want to dab a little on your lips, like color and everything. So what it is, is the products in the lid part here. And then here's your stamp, you know, just, and you can just dab it on and then touch it, you know, touch up your uh, cheeks or like I said you can even dab it on your lips if you wanted to put some color on your lips and it just gives a nice natural uh, blushy look and it's more of a you know cream product too which I like now this one's called cheeky vibes there's cheeky vibes right there isn't that pretty that's such a beautiful like natural look of a color and the other one's called blush me I think blush me is more of the pink coloring yeah i think it's more the pink put it on this side over here yeah it's more and it gives you a nice flushed pink right there now you can buff it in like i'm just putting it on dark enough so you can see but yeah you just and it's it's it can, oh just they give you such a beautiful look so i've been using these a good bit and i've been really enjoying them a lot for highlighters i only have three here actually which i'm surprised but oh, this one here, mm, I am in love and I would like to get a couple more colors, at least one for sure in particular though. It's from the Physician's Formula, again, butter collection and it's the butter highlighter. Now I have pink and it has slash rose and oh my goodness, when you put these on your cheeks, can you see? And when you you can just slightly buff it in on your on your cheeks there and it just gives this beautiful natural glow I guess is what I want to say I've even used this in the corner like in the inner corner I've used it on my eyelids before to pop my eyelids so I think the other one I want to get is the rose gold I believe they have like a rose gold color oh the and they do feel very smooth and buttery just as it says just beautiful speaking of wet and wild again I have two of them here 
and both are kind of a limited edition, although I, I was impressed. I, I wasn't sure how much I would really like this one. This is Fire, I believe. It's from the Your Sign, you know, like there was Fire. Um, I forget what the other ones were. I can't even remember now, but it was from that collection. I can't think of the name of the collection right now. And I have been so impressed with a lot of their highlighters. I wasn't sure what to think of this because in looking at it, you know, at first I thought, oh, I'm not sure what I'm going to get with this one. This here is like a rose, maybe gold, a, a color. There is something about this one that does some kind of magic on my skin like it just looks so natural of a glow it goes so well with my skin and just looks like a natural see that like a wet look oh i just i love that one mm. i'm trying to think of what collection this one is it has like a skull on it this is moonlit moonlit gleam and like i said it has like a skull or something on it i don't know if you can see here yeah, like a skull so I'm not sure what collection that one's from. This is such a unique shade. Um, look at that. It's such a unique shade. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like both of them have that wet look. So cool. You can see the difference in the two. So yeah. Lastly will be the lips, which I have quite a few lip products here, which one is these uh, L'Oreal, what are these, like a lip? lip shine something I cannot remember you guys might be able to help remind me what these are I'm trying to remember but I know they're from L'Oreal and these give a nice you know shine to your lips my favorite shade actually is this one here varnished res rosewood is my favorite shade out of the two uh, that's this one here I'm not sure. I'm thinking did I share this last year gosh knows but that's the rosewood one there beautiful color and then this one here is in burnished blush or something and i tried this whenever i was in walmart at one point because then an area where you could test some of the products out which i was surprised because you don't normally see that in walmart but they're starting to step it up in there so that's that one there really pretty then from maybelline uh, these are the lipstick rouge these are more of the shine ones they come in this like rose gold mirrored colored um container and this one's 055 taupe seduction which love this one so it's not real real bad in the taupe shade it is right there and it is gorgeous and that is taupe seduction so urban decay born to run collection um, lipstick has the real cute packaging like the um, eyeshadow palette this is a number 66 it's a comfort matte lipstick i have to tell you i really do like the comfort matte lipsticks from urban decay they are just that like a nice comfort color i've been tempted to actually buy another one of these just to have it as a backup because i have my feeling this one i'm going to wear quite a bit because as you can see it's a beautiful natural color there it is right there so pretty almost looks like the taupe only the taupe's a shine, isn't it? Oh my gosh, yes it is. Let's get into lip gloss. Um, I, when I bought my Urban Decay uh, lipstick that I was showing you, I seen these from Tarte. They're the H2 Gloss, these here. Really pretty packaging. I mean, Tarte does have really, really pretty packaging. This one's in room service. That's a funny color, funny name. I always like the flat doe foot applicators. I do like those a lot. So I thought with that number, um, this one here, number 66, I thought this color would work great to put on top of it if I wanted to add, you know, um, a gloss just in case because like the lipstick is a matte. So there you are and see how it matches up really nice together if I want a gloss on top of that. I'm going to be honest, my favorite lip gloss right now that now I usually like and love the Lorac 
Alter Ego lip glosses. Those are some amazing lip glosses with the pigmentation. Oh my gosh, this impressed me so much. Christy Teigen, it was with the uh, Becca collection a while back ago. I got this with my BoxyCharm points. I had so many points build up, so I had purchased a couple of things. And um, this is the Glow Gloss. Malibu Sole is the one I got. And you can smell a mint to this. And as you can see, this doe foot applicator has that bend. But this is so pigmented for a lip gloss. But not just that. There is, it's not sticky or tacky. If you do not like a lip gloss that has that sticky tacky and you're not about that, this would be the perfect lip gloss for you. I mean, unless you don't like mint smell, it doesn't burn or tingle. So don't worry about that neither. So I know some people probably think, oh my gosh, is it going to... And I just did a couple swipes and right there it is on the end right there. Um, that's it. I love, so I'm thinking of, and I'm pretty sure they have more, I think they do have more lip glosses if I'm not mistaken. But let me know down below what makeup products stood out to you in 2018. I'd like to know, I'm kind of curious, I always like to see what everybody is enjoying throughout the year or, you know, might give me some ideas to try a new product out. Thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. And like I said, stay tuned for the uh, palettes, the standout palettes. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.